This animation shows a boy named Walter experimenting with a tool he made. Then came his mother, Wendy, a police agent. Walter showed the device to his mother, but it instead exploded the glitter which covered Walter and his mother's bodies. His mother then told him to get ready to go to school. Walter looked reluctant and said that his friends always considered him weird. Soon his mother received a call of duty. Before leaving, she told Walter there was nothing wrong with being weird because strange people can always come up with amazing things in the future. She said that one day Walter's invention would benefit the world. His mother also promised to always support Walter. 14 years passed. A secret agent in Japan, Lance, was carrying out his mission. He targeted a man selling illegal weapons, Katsu Kimura. Lance had to take a briefcase containing the M9 Assassin drone. It was the first atmospheric-powered semi-autonomous attack drone. It turns out that this drone was their secret weapon stolen by the Yakuza from their laboratory. Therefore, Lance was tasked with taking it back. After knowing his mission, Lance immediately went to Kimura's place alone. There he had to defeat 70 Yakuza to take the briefcase. With the help of sophisticated tools and his martial arts skills, Lance easily defeated all the Yakuza there. Now it's just Lance to face Kimura. Lance easily beat him and managed to get the suitcase back. Unfortunately, when Lance was about to go home, a mobster named Killian suddenly snatched the briefcase from his hand. Killian immediately left by helicopter while carrying the briefcase. Lance was surrounded by other Yakuza, and he then took his device displaying cute cat videos to distract Killian's men. He used a small bomb to send him flying up and went after Killian to get his suitcase back. Lance quickly managed to get the briefcase, and the mission was completed. He returned to the base, where everyone there greeted him. It turns out that Lance was the best agent, and that's why there are so many people who admire him so much. On the other hand, a teenage Walter was working as a scientist in a laboratory at Lance's headquarters. Walter was still considered weird, as well as the items he found. Shortly after, Lance entered the laboratory to meet him. He was angry with Walter because the tool he created was useless. The glittered bomb device that featured the previous cat video was Walter's creation. Lance said he wanted an instrument with destructive powers, such as burning or exploding things. But Walter instead showed another of his inventions, a bubble protective shield that could appear when its user was in danger. Seeing that, Lance got even more annoyed and left him. Walter didn't want to give up. He immediately chased after Lance and said that, at this time, he was conducting research that could make Lance disappear. But Lance grew increasingly annoyed and fired him. Lance went into a room to give the suitcase to his boss, but when the briefcase was opened, the drone wasn't in it. Then came the central agent, Geraldine, who accused Lance of stealing the drone. Then he showed a video of Lance attacking the guards with the assassin drone. Feeling that he didn't do it, Lance defended himself, but no one believed him, and he was even in handcuffs. Being trapped, the angry Lance escaped. On the other hand, disguised as Lance, Killian was coming to the covert weapon facility in the North Sea and attacking the guards. Meanwhile, Lance, who managed to escape, was confused because a criminal was impersonating him. To prove his innocence, Lance must first find out a person who knew Killian's whereabouts. The person was Kimura, who was currently in Mexico. Since Lance needed equipment, he went to Walter's house to ask for his invention tool that could make him disappear. Meanwhile, Walter was sad at home because he was fired and missed his late mother. He had dinner while watching TV with his bird, Lovey. After dining, Walter tested his invention. He took a piece of Lovey's feather and then dripped it with the serum he had made. Soon, the feathers disappeared and turned into water. He was pleased because his invention was successful. Walter was shocked to see Lance, who was suddenly at his house. Without further ado, Lance immediately asked for his invention that could make him disappear. Before Walter explained it, Lance drank the water in Walter's hand until it ran out. It turns out that the water was a formula to match DNA, and within 45 seconds, Lance would turn into a dove, just like Lovey. It didn't take long for Lance to start feeling the effects of the formula. He turned into a blue dove. Walter, who saw that his research was successful, was delighted. While Lance was angry and asked Walter to return him immediately, Walter said that he didn't have an antidote. Walter then tried to calm Lance by saying to take the positive side of being a dove. Now, no enemies can hide behind Lance because he has a 360 degrees view. He became a bird, so no one would realize it was Lance. He could quickly enter anywhere without anyone knowing. Walter thought that it was the perfect skill for a secret agent. Annoyed, Lance immediately left Walter's house. Shortly after, Walter's house was attacked by a secret agent, Marcy, chasing Lance. Lance realized his current whereabouts had been discovered, so he immediately left Walter's house. Walter realized something was wrong with Lance and asked what had happened. Lance explained that a criminal was impersonating him, so he would go to catch the criminal. Hearing that, Walter wanted to go with him, but Lance refused. Then Walter said he would give Lance an antidote so he could turn into a human again. Lance agreed, and they then left using Lance's car. 
Marcy, who saw Lance running away with Walter, immediately ordered her troops to chase after him and block the road. Chase's action ensued. By using the auto-drive system and luck, Lance and Walter got away. After successfully escaping, they boarded a private plane to Mexico to look for Kimura. They get to a hotel called Playa del Carmen. There they met the Yakuza of Kimura's men. Since Lance took the form of a dove, the two of them could get in there quickly without being caught. Then Lance saw leftover food under the chair. Because of his instincts as a dove, he ate the leftovers. Soon Lovey came along with two other birds who wanted to befriend him. Lance ignored them and returned to his mission. He then tried to steal Kimura's room key. He still needed to realize that pigeons didn't need access to the hotel. However, while Lance is printing the room key, two of Lovey's friend's pigeons come and peck at the receptionist's bell, causing his plan to fail. The receptionist who saw Lance immediately hit him with the keyboard and threw him in the trash. The two doves came again and gave Kimura's room key. After that, Lance decided to go alone to Kimura's room because he didn't want to involve Walter in his business. He went up using the elevator to the 20th floor. When he got there, Lance immediately went into Kimura's room and interrogated him. At first, everything went well because Kimura didn't know Lance's form, which turned into a dove as soon as Kimura turned around. He then learned Lance's form and immediately caught him and slammed him on the floor. When Kimura was about to kill Lance with a chess table, Walter came and immediately electrocuted Kimura until he fainted. Lance got the information he wanted thanks to the honesty serum Walter injected into Kimura. At the same time, Killian was heading to Venice to steal the database of secret agents. He planned to use the M9 assassin drone to kill all the secret agents in the world. At the same time, Marcy had arrived at their hotel and was heading to Kimura's room to catch Lance. Marcy and his troops didn't take long to arrive at the room door and surround them. Walter and Lance tried to block the room's entrance using Kimura's body, but Marcy ordered his men to blow up the bedroom door using a bazooka. Because there was no other way, Walter had to jump from the 20th floor. At first, he was scared, but finally, he jumped. Lance told Walter to use his sophisticated tools so he wouldn't get hurt. Thanks to the pen that Walter often brought, he managed to land safely and defeat some of Marcy's troops. But soon, Walter and Lance were surrounded. When Walter tried to use his pen again, it got eaten by his friend Lovey's skinny duff. Soon the scrawny dove spat out gum which instantly attacked all of Marcy's troops and immobilized them. On the other hand, Killian asked the professor, who was in the center of the Venice secret agent facility, to give him a database of secret agents worldwide. After getting what he wanted, Killian then killed the professor. Meanwhile, Lance and Walter were boarding a ship heading to Venice. Lance got a new troop, two doves following him since in Mexico. He called them Fat the Dove and the Skinny Dove. The two birds just kept following Lance wherever he went. On his way, Walter made an antidote for Lance and after waiting for 18 hours, it was finally finished. He then tried using Lance's feather but the antidote failed. Lance was so disappointed in him. They finally got to Venice, Italy. When they arrived at the pier, Marcy was already waiting for them. Marcy, who had not realized that Lance had turned into a blue dove, tried to persuade Walter to tell Lance's whereabouts. It turns out that Marcy knew Walter's mother, who had died because she sacrificed herself to save others. But suddenly, there was an explosion in the building behind them. Marcy assumed that it was Lance's doing. When Marcy was off guard, Walter took this opportunity to escape and entered the building with Lance. Inside the building, the M9 assassin drone had obtained a copy of the database of the secret agents. Marcy and her troops couldn't stop the drone even though they had showered it with bullets. The drone then left the building. Walter told Lance to chase the drone because now Lance was one of the fastest birds in the world. But it turns out that Lance could not fly and fell from the top of the building. Luckily, Lovey and his two pigeon friends help him. They chase the drone together to seize the database. At the same time, Walter joined in pursuing them using a motorbike he borrowed from a resident. The skinny bird shot ice at the drone's feet to make the database he was holding loose, and Lance quickly caught the database. Unfortunately, he instead hit a cable which made the database successfully captured by the drone again. The battle between the drones and the doves was inevitable. Thanks to the excellent cooperation between Walter and the doves, they managed to get the database. But suddenly, Killian appeared and immediately knocked Walter off his motorbike and took the database. Cornered, Walter asked for Lance's help, but Lance also fell and was still unconscious. Killian, who still didn't know Lance's form, joined in shouting to challenge Lance to a one-on-one -on -one duel. As Killian was about to kill Walter, Lance immediately realized and shouted his name. As Killian was off guard, Walter threw some breadcrumbs at him. Instantly, thousands of doves there attacked Killian, and that's when Walter Lance and his bird friends fled from there. After that, Marcy came, and Killian disguised himself as Lance and escaped from there using an assassin drone. Marcy knew that the Lance she saw had robotic hands while the Lance she knew had normal hands. Meanwhile, Lance, Walter, and his bird friends escape using a submarine while trying to catch Killian. 
Walter had installed a tracking device on Killian. Suddenly Lance laid an egg, making Walter realize that Lance was a female duff. He came to know the reason why the antidote failed. He had to use Lovey's feather as a female duff. On the other hand, Marcy and his troops were still working hard to find Lance's trace on the ship. They did not see any traces, such as fingerprints, and his lips had never touched any glass. Marcy only found a blue dove feather. Meanwhile, Walter managed to make an antidote for Lance. Then Lance drank the cure, and finally, he turned back into a human. He was pleased and thanked Walter. Walter gave him the clothes, and he was ready to roll back into action. Soon, they got to the covert weapons facility, where Killian was. But when they got there, Lance told Walter to leave because he would face Killian alone. He didn't want to put Walter's life in danger. Since Walter insisted on joining, Lance had to drug Walter and send him away on his submarine. Then Lance sneaked into the building, but his position was discovered by drone assassins. Lance paralyzed the drone and met Killian to ask him to surrender. Killian didn't want to give up and use secret agent data to activate his thousands of assassin drones. He will use drones to kill all secret agents around the world. After revealing his intention, Killian electrocuted Lance until he was helpless and took him hostage. Then from Killian's monitor screen, Lance saw Walter coming back to help him. Seeing this, Killian sent two assassin drones to blow up the submarine Walter was riding on. Lance, who thought Walter was gone, felt very sad. Suddenly Walter appeared with his dove friend. It turns out that Walter and his dove friend survived thanks to his bubble protection device. Lance realized that he needed Walter's help and apologized for his previous behavior. From now on, they will beat Killian with the plan made by Walter. They first contacted Marcel for his help. After that, Lance tried to get out of the building to attract Killian's attention and his drones. Meanwhile, Walter was hiding and attempting to hack Killian's robot arm. Lance then resorted to trickery by flashing an adorable cat video glitter bomb, and their plan officially began. The cat video distracted Killian, and the dove started destroying the drones surrounding them. In the middle of the fight, Marcy came. With her help, Lance and the doves tried to buy time until Walter managed to take control of Killian's robot hand. At the same time, thousands of assassin robots arrived at their main headquarters. Director Joy ordered her men to lock their base and fired a wave that knocked out the electricity. Meanwhile, at Killian's place, Lance asks Marcy to use a tool from Walter to fight against Killian. Even though the device looked trivial, it had extraordinary destructive power. Finally, Killian discovered that Walter was trying to hack his robot hand. He tried to escape using a drone, but Walter managed to stop him thanks to his gum shot. However, because Walter was still holding the tool that caught Killian, he was carried away by the drone. Lance tried to save him, but he failed. He then saw a falling lovey feather and planned to turn into a dove again to save Walter. On the other hand, Walter, still flying with Killian, managed to hack his robot arm. Then, before deactivating the assassin drone, Walter attached a bubble shield device to Killian, who was about to fall while he was free falling from a height. At the same time, thousands of drones that attacked the secret agent headquarters also stopped. While Lance, who had turned into a dove, tried to help Walter, who had fallen. Although Lance had a hard time at first, shortly after, a lot of doves came and helped him save Walter. Finally, Walter and Lance survived. There they met Marcy, who finally realized Lance had turned into a dove all this time. Meanwhile, Killian, who fell into the sea, survived thanks to the bubble shield from Walter. After that incident, Lance and Walter were fired. They were unfortunate, but on the other hand, they also felt happy for succeeding in saving the lives of many people. But suddenly, they were kidnapped by a group of people. It turns out that it was Marcy and Director Joy. Their dismissal was just a charade. Director Joy offered Walter to lead a secret agent. His skills were needed, and he would be on a team with Lance. The last scene shows Lance often transforming into a dove and working with Walter to eradicate crime, and the movie ends. The moral of this animation is that we learn to work with others. Even though we can do it alone, the burden will feel lighter if we share it. Also, don't underestimate people who are considered weird because, who knows, these strange people can do extraordinary things in the future.